Welcome everyone to a new video series that I'm doing uh, on Starbase Orion. Now this is a game I bought years ago on the uh, iPad. It's a 4x space strategy game and it's actually really good. Uh, not only for the iPad, but as like you compared to other 4x strategy games, it holds its own. And it's it was it's made for the iPad. I believe it's only out for the iPad. Uh, and it's one of the few games I really enjoy playing. So uh, let me just show you. Uh, I'm going to start a new game here. Classic, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Uh, that was fine. Normal, last empire, normal, everything looks good. Uh, bonuses, no, that was fine. Alright, I am going to play the humans. Ah, uh, I'm green. I'm be green, daggone. That seems so bored. I'm not doing that one. Let's, uh,. Let's save it now. Let's just try a new one. I want a different bag on color. It doesn't let you choose the color. That's uh, something I wish they would let you do. Purple for it. Choose purple rather than the other ones. Alright, so I'm gonna. Hold on, let me see what time it is. Uh, it's 453. I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So. Let's start exploring. Uh, it's a very easy game to play, you just select these ships. Uh, the learning curve, I remember now, I'm thinking back to like 2011, 2012 when I bought it. Uh, but picking it up, I think I picked it up in, uh, in terms of the UI and how to play everything. Uh, it did probably like 5 10 minutes. It was, it's pretty quick. Priority power ships are. Pull that out. Maybe one more right there. Uh, that's too much. I'm right, good to go. Pull that right there. There we go. That should, should look good. All right, then we get to go press. I did research foreign. Oh, let's go in here. I'm gonna delete all these things. I don't like their names. Renaming that. That's a cruiser, right? So let's call it Independence. There we go. Uh, I want to build. Not naming the fuck. Uh, what should I call a frigate? Um, it's a good name for it. I'm just gonna call it Miranda class. And a new ship, we're gonna call it Liberty Class. Like that. That works. <coughs> Dang, on only laser beams. So the research system here is, is critical. I definitely need to uh, get that uh, going my empire running so this is a great uh forex strategy game you guys i just wanted to point that out um i played this for years uh now the cool thing about it is uh, the developer behind it uh chimera c-i-c-h-i-m-e-r-a uh, developed it you're supposed to make a sequel but that fell through or there's no updates on that the cool thing about it is he's actually still updating this game he recently updated uh this year i believe and yeah, it's it's a game that years down the road, I, I don't know how much I've spent on this, but it's been definitely worth whatever money I spent. I know it was under twenty, I think it was under ten too, um, but definitely worth it because after like five years, I'm still playing the game, and he actually made it for sixty-four bits. If you guys are not familiar, there's two ways you can make an application, 32-bit and 64-bit. 64-bit basically allows you to do more with the app uh, and comes in extremely handy with iOS 11 because you can't play old games uh, in 32-bit. iOS 11 just doesn't do it anymore. Uh, so there's a couple of games that I bought that were really great games uh, that I can't play anymore. Um, and unless the developer pulls the game from scratch and builds it back up, there's no way I'm going to do that, so, um, yeah, those games are kind of, kind of 
Hopefully Apple puts an emulator maybe, but yeah. Let's see. Repopulation. What's this? Toxic. I don't want to put and radiate it. Is colony ship. That's what we're going to be building. What's in the Massim system? Let's send one colony ship out there. This game actually comes with two. Oh, I ran into the dark matter, didn't I? No, that's. Oh, yeah. So this game comes with two. You have this uh, strategic mode, and this is the tactical mode, as you can see here. Tactical mode, you can just play orders here, uh, select what you want it to do, keep firing at long range. Uh, with this amoeba, I'm definitely going to have it get the heck out of dodge. And I have to wait for the next turn to see what happens. That's probably going to be a good system too, yeah, as an M-class planet. Ah, population capacity 16. Ah, this, that would have been good. Tag on. Tag on. Well, that's going to knock it down a bit. <coughs> so, I'm actually, uh, obviously you noticed, uh, oh, good. I thought it was going to be destroyed. I'll give you a little taste of what this combat's going to be. So, uh, I'm actually playing this on my iPad. Got my legs kicked up, recording the screen. And, uh, very comfortable playing on the iPad, I'll tell you. you know, a lot of, I know a lot of you guys are probably laptop and desktop users and play games on there, but you know, the one the really cool thing about having a phone is just relaxing, sitting back, and your feet up, it's so much more comfortable. Laptops on the obviously have a laptop, because they're a laptop, right? Uh, but kind of something a little bit more personal, more intimate with a tablet and a laptop. But I know there are surface books out there that shoot at that guy. So I can show you this. But yeah, um... But, you know, I feel like the laptops are heavy and, you know... Like right now, if a tablet's much more easier to hold in your hand, you know, you can, uh, I feel like with a laptop, they're very bulky, you know, uh, heavy. Uh, my tablet here is a pound, my laptop is like three pounds, uh, and I always worry with my laptop just in case something happens, I move the wrong way, falls on the floor, I can buy Charlie, you know. Uh, at least my tablet has some protection, and if it cracks, it, you know, it have to cost, you know. But you know, one thing that I would, one thing that I would love is, I, I, I wish this would happen, but it is, I wish that CBS Paramount would make a Star Trek game, a 4X strategy game for Star Trek like this. You know, the last 4X strategy game for Star Trek came out in 99, well, Star Trek was an incredible game. I love it. It's actually, it is actually my favorite game of all time. And it's an incredible uh, strategy game. But they never made a sequel to, to it. And, you know, if I was an IP holder, I would be putting out new stuff, new games constantly out there. Try to appeal to all markets, try to get people, uh, you know, try to, try to make as many games to appeal to people as possible. Me and uh, the historical gamer were actually talking about this uh, in Single Mall Strategy podcast a while ago. And he was saying that, like, a lot of them don't do that because uh, they don't want to, if the games are bad, they don't want to degrade the IP. And I can understand that. Uh, just make sure the games are good. You know, a good example is the game with Battlestar Galactica. They took an IP, they made a great game out of it. Uh, just make games that the players want. And, I can tell you as a 
you know, as a person who played pretty much every Star Trek game that came out, especially strategy games, I uh, just redo Star Trek Armada, redo Star Trek Birth of the Federation, Star Trek Starfleet Command, make those games, we'll buy them, you know, take my money, you know. <laughs> You know, and the same goes for like Disney and uh, their Star Wars, you know. Make Star Wars Rebellion. Make these IPs, you know. Do what Slytherin did with, uh, with uh, Battlestar, but with different IPs, man. Instead of making the same daggone games, Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty 6, I understand they sell it and, you know, people buy it, but like how many times can you make a daggone Call of Duty game? I mean, you literally... Just regurgitating the da same dag on, well, we're doing World War II, but it's going to be even better this time. And we're going to make World War One. it's going to be even better this time. It's just over and over. You got to, like, expand, you know, make different kind of games, you know. Put, put resources behind different other types of... Who do I send over here? I sent a colony ship that. That's, that was dumb of me. I freaking ra ran into a Dagon. That was Dagon stupid of me. That's gonna take a while now. Colony ship in 11 turns. So that's going to set me back a stupid decision. How many empires out there? There's six, seven empires. I got to get out to the, I got to get to the core system so I can start making alliances and such. You know, but going back to Call of Duty, I was a big Call of Duty fan back in the day. Uh, I remember when Call of Duty Battle, Call of Duty, my bad, uh, Battlefield, Battlefield 1942 originally came out. That was like a huge thing back in the day, uh, where you had like an open sandbox uh, battlefield, uh, and you were vying for patrol. That was back in the day. That was like a brand new concept, uh, and it was awesome. But you know, I feel like at this point, like they kind of. I think they did a future Battlefield game, 2142, I think. Uh, obviously, World War II, World War One. They did Vietnam. Like, they're running out of... Okay, they did a modern day, you know. Of course, these developers that had that kind of thing would kind of move over to, like, maybe strategy gaming. But that's some great strategy games. Uh, you know, like, maybe I'm biased because I love strategy games. Uh, but they make you think, you know. I really love that. Uh, I'm gonna start building. But yeah, I mean, trust me, a great strategy. Because I want to see. Strategy game market exploding at the end of
165 turns. Dude, are you crazy? 71. That's at least terrible. There we go. Let's see what's in the NOS system. Ooh, six. That's pretty good, right? Because there was nobody here. One game that I'm I'm, I'm kind of one game that I'm kind of like hoping uh, comes out in the future is a new Victoria game and a new Civilization game. I would love to see that. Uh, I think there are like Civilization Five or Civilization Six. Uh, I'd love to see a new one. Expansion, let's do that. Wait, what kind of planets are in this? That's weird. One? Yeah. I'm gonna go take out that amoeba soon. Baron, I know, but oh, I can build a hydroponic center on this one. That's interesting. Wait, how am I gonna build a hydroponic center? There's no farming there. Maybe that must be a bug or something. So, I don't know if I, uh, so the one cool thing, uh, I don't know if I mentioned in this video or a previous video, but, um, oh crap. Oh crap. I know that amoeba. This guy got away last time, so I'm okay. Discovered, unit you and colonized, three, ten gold coins. Okay. Jeez, man, this is gonna be tough. I'm trapped here if I don't take out these amoeba. What the heck is this? Crystalline entity. Oh, crap. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I need to build new ships. I need to build a fleet. These Liberty class ships coming out soon. Uh, I hope I don't lose a ship. I'm gonna need the entire fleet. Okay, good idea, but, uh, back in the day when I played this game, they went into these kind of uh, uh, entities. I would lose their ships, but I think they had an attached to it. I'm kind of screwed now because I need to get past their systems to get to the core systems. Hmm. 50% population growth. There was another guy that I, I had in the previous game that wanted to make a boost my technology. What do you got? Uh, build a colony ship, dude. Two turns. Seven, that's good. 
How close? Three turns for a Liberty class destroyer. I'm gonna build like three of them, and then hopefully with the massive fleet, I can I can knock out. Research. Uh, I'm gonna definitely definitely. Wait, where the heck is the? Yeah, I had a destroyer. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what's that? You see that on the top left of my empire? There's a blue god here. You were helping me with technology. And I can't get past these daggone systems. They got me boxed in. That's the first thing I need to do is take out these amoeba. I forgot what the uh, strength is. I think like close to 100. How long is it going to take to build another 20 dead? Ah! Uh. This is going to be tough, man. Very interesting music. Yeah, I don't care. We are locusts. Nah, I'm not interested, dude. There was one game that some guy was helping me out with technology. That, that's something I would definitely use. Okay, good. Continue building. Which one is it? It's this guy, right? Me a favor, can you build? Build me a three, four frigates. Industry seven. The one thing uh, I hope this developer does, he was supposed to make a sequel like I mentioned before, but that didn't work out. What can you build here? Build me hydroponics. Um, so he was supposed to make a sequel to this game, but I don't know what happened. It was supposed to be released years ago, but it went off track. And he still makes updates to this game. I wish that he would just add in-app purchases, make big additions to the game, and either charge $1.99 or $2.99, whatever it is. I paid for I, I would pay for that. I mean, he's made, I noticed a few little changes uh, to the game. He's been updating it, and I appreciate that. You know, add more content, you know, like, just, this is the guy that, yeah, I'm going to build close to eight, and this 20, it's going to take four, five minutes. Industries down to one? It was bigger, right?
Uh, only one system that really is pushing out stuff. It's really hard, you know, like at this point. I can't really expand further. I'm trapped. And I want to put the colony ships. Go to my relocate. That's my main world, right? Oh man, which one's my main world? I forgot. Innovation is the true path to glory. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man, weird. All right. <laughs> I like that. I like the sound effects though. Appreciate them putting that in. Uh, whoa. Oh no, he sp still has to go there. I thought I was like. Five for the food. What do you do? Hmm. Ah, making them resilient point defense systems. Yeah, let's. At the maximum limit, are you serious? Alright, whatever. Maybe one of my allies will take out these two things. Not my allies, but another race. What do you guys think? Should I wait for the last ship? Oh, I'm gonna take that. 18 turns. I think I'm gonna wait 18 turns. This way I can kick some serious anomaly button. <laughs> Alright, good. That knocked down my thing quite a bit. I should be able to get nukes down. Oh, I got two. Marine barracks, too. I would have chosen that. Maybe I'm going to play and let's do that. Uh, I definitely want to go back to the ship designer. Bring up my times, isn't it? 17 and 10. But I will have nukes for the first time. Oh, hold on, my four on the food side. I don't want to go that to the next one. Dang gone. I'm going to have to move from. Dang gone. Dang gone. So, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, oh, Captain Jack, <laughs> Captain Jack will get you high tonight, take you to your special island, so the, um, I was actually talking to, uh, this, uh, chick today, and we were, uh, we were talking about how, um, my friends, for some reason, Enjoy our oh, planetary expansion. Good to go. Um, they'll take a shot of Jack and chase it with pickle, uh, pickle back. They call it pickle back shot. And uh, first time, like they had me try it, I was like, why the, f you know, like I, I tried. I was like, is it supposed to make you know the alcohol taste better? Is it supposed to like, you know, 
intensify the, uh, the effects of whiskey and stuff. They're like, yeah, yeah. This was like five, ten years ago, whatever it was. Uh, and they still do it, I believe, today. And I remember the first time I had it, I was like, dude, you just, dis like, and I had it. And, you know, if you don't know enough, you know, the bad shots, you can know, take a shot at Jack. And you bought a chase of the pickle juice. And I was just like, I don't understand the concept of this. You know, like, it's supposed to, you know, so we don't have to the taste of Jack in your mouth. I was like, I'm paying $7 so I can have the taste of Jack in my mouth. You know, it doesn't make any sense to put $7 down, take some Jack Daniels, get that nice taste that has been aged perfectly with some pickle juice. Like, I'm like, what are you, are you high or something? They still do that, it just surprised me nuts. It's like drinking an, drinking an IPA and instead of enjoying that beautiful, uh, hoppy flavor, you chase it with a Coca-Cola. It's just like, why would you do that? Why would you destroy it? Why would you pay all that money and just destroy the flavor? It just drives me nuts. So... But anyway, I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, I, uh, I was going to do a Civil War II series, and I, I still want to do it. I recorded two episodes, uh, but the recorder, and I'm not using the Xbox the recorder. I'm using something open, something I'll put in the description of this uh, video. I'm using something like that, uh, but it's, it's very odd. When I was trying to import it into a uh, video editor, it didn't... The video would play, the preview would play, and it would jump from like the actual gameplay to a green screen to black to green, back to the gameplay, and it would render out. I was just like, well, I wonder what the game, the video recorder did. So I just said, you know what? Let me just upload this straight to YouTube, and they wouldn't even upload to YouTube. So there's some weird stuff going on with that. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get that to you guys. You know what? It's good to go. I think I'm gonna probably end the episode as soon as I get to that. Man, this would make amazing Star Trek strategy game, man. I know I've, I've mentioned this numerous times, but, like, I love getting into IPs, you know? I love, you know... Oh, nice. Armor plating. What's the point defense system? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, back to ship designer, what do you got? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we're plating. That's gonna be expensive, man. Heavy on the plating. 187. <laughs> Dude, a cruiser is gonna be crazy expensive, man. Uh, oh, I got a good idea. Galactica class. <laughs> what do you guys think, huh? Galactica class, baby. Two, three, one, two, three. And just stack. Stack. It's expensive. It is expensive, but... Dude, that ship would take a beating. 637 hole to 290 hole to 39 hole <laughs> to 140 hole. I'm not going to be able to afford that, but... So what do you think? I have enough ships. That's three to five. I'm going to have another one coming in. Uh, so I'm going to end the game right here, guys. I hope you... Uh, let's see if I can put it. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to end the game right here.
just going to call it one. It's easy to identify it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give me a like if you want to see more episodes of Starbase Orion. Uh, if not, then I'll find something else. Uh, and give me your comments. Uh, I would recommend if you haven't purchased this for uh, iPhone or iPad, it's for both. Uh, it's a really cool, cool game. Uh, the multiplayer is really good. The uh, developer did something really cool with this where um, if you do like seven players and somebody hasn't done their turn in a while, I believe he ejects them from the game, the code at least uh, ejects them from the game, and uh, puts the AI in command. So he, he coded the game very uh very good because you know he could have just left it as and you know i'm he could have just left it as is and just let the you know whoever's still in the game you know do an easy win but he actually said well we're gonna make this challenging for whoever's still in the game uh, so that was uh pretty cool um so i would recommend this game uh i gave it a great review it's on my website but it's years ago anyway uh that does it for this episode guys i will see you in the next one that's it